I'm going to be going over Yoda.io's new tavern feature, which features AI chatbots that you can talk to that have the personalities of certain anime characters, so on and so forth. It's very similar to the popular character AI website, and that's what they're doing with their tavern. So we're just going to jump into it. And if you are familiar with the Yoda.io site, I actually covered it on my channel a couple of months back where I showed you how you could use it for AI art. But beyond AI art, you can use it for talking to characters using large language models. And so if we head on over to the tavern, we've got a bunch of different things. We've got our tavern here, you've got plus characters, and then you've got my characters. So I'm actually going to show you how you can go about using the tavern to either talk to already pre-made characters or to make your own. So jumping straight into it, um, the top area right here, you have um, some of the you have some of the chatbots that you've already started conversations with so like goku ram ram gargura um and whatnot so beyond just anime characters you've got things like sniper basically any character that you want to go about creating with a large language model now do be warned there is nsfw on um tavern like there was for the ai art generation and so if you go into um well first you got to create an account um it's as easy as using a google account so that's what i'm doing so just sign up with a google account and then you can use their tavern and so if you go into settings, um, you can toggle off show NSFW content and show it NSFW spells and then turn on blur NSFW images. Once you are in the tavern, you can find characters so you can sort by different uh, genres. And so in here, if we go to something like VTubers, um, we could find different VTubers in here. And one thing that is to be noted is if you click another category you have to unclick the other one to to find out or to see the um, other characters and then if you continue going down you've got other things anime drama so on and so forth so you do have to be aware that a lot of this is also community made and so it's very hard to police all of these community made chatbots so you will run into a lot of interesting things on tavern that just beware about um let's play it safe and let's go with vtubers and um well let's find one real quick well actually i'm gonna go top and then i'm going to do all time because these are going to be the ones made by mamba who is a staff on the yodayo team so let's go with someone that we haven't talked with yet well let's do megamine <laughs> and so basically you can select a character uh, for example megamine it'll have a description and you can start chatting with them so um, you can share you can go to the creator's profile if you would like or you can start chatting so we're going to start chatting and here is where you can start chatting with the character and it starts off with a dialogue um, setting kind of the scene so greetings traveler i am megamine arch wizard of the crimson magic clan so on and so forth and you just kind of talk to it. So, ahoy matey. Thank you for welcoming me in. What brings you here? And so when you send a message, it's going to respond kind of like ChatGPT and bring it back. And then there are some settings you can change the chat position. So um, you can bring it to the right here so you can have it on the right hand side or you can bring it to the left so you can have it on the left hand side if you prefer that. Um, and then if you go to last chats, you'll find the other bots that you've talked to as well here. So yeah, we've got the response here um, from our AI Megamine. For matching the personality, it's actually pretty decent. It's actually pretty good. I am terrible with these dialogues, so I'm not going to try uh, to go through one. That'll be for you guys to go through, but I'm going to go through how you can make a character. And so this is where you can go about making any character that you want to talk to. Or like I said, you could find one inside of the tavern. You can also use the search option here. Like if we want to create a Ram character, we could find many different Rams here. So we're just going to create a character. And, you know, I do use Ram for a lot of my examples. So we're just going to create a Ram character. And so I'm not going to manually do these fields because um, why do that when we can use AI to do that for us? So, so I'm going to use ChatGPT and I do have a Yodayo character creator um, GPT that I made. Um, so this helps in building tavern bots for Yodayo Tavern if you have GPT-4. Um, but 
since everyone might not have access to GPT-4, um, I'm going to use GPT-3.5 and manually give it instructions so that we can go about creating a Yodayo Tavern Bot. So first, we want to create a Tavern Bot, let's say for Rem. And so we need to ask it for a description of our character. So can you give me a, dis a detailed description of Rem from Re0? So we're going to do this for, uh, oops, my custom instructions are on real quick. Let's resave. Let's go into a new prompt and submit again. Okay, so now we've got a character description for Rem from ReZero. And so can we or can you make this into a shorter um, description? Let's say two sentences long. Let's do, let's do four sentences. That's a little bit too short. All right, so let's just copy that and go into um, Yo Dio and throw this into the description. Obviously, you probably would want to, um, you know, play around with it a little bit, but for demonstration's sake, we're just gonna go through this. And for Persona, I do have some instructions that you can give to ChatGPT to help you format this. So if you don't have access to GPT-4, uh, you wouldn't be able to use my Yodayo character creator uh, tavern bot, but that's okay because all you need to do is just input these instructions and then it'll create it in this specific format. So I need to now create a personality following the instructions below. Can you do this for Rem? Can you? And then since it's 3.5, it didn't follow the bulleted list. I'm going to say, can you follow the list format like, like below? Okay, save and submit. All right, so it, it looks like it doesn't want to follow it, unfortunately, um, because it's D, uh, GPT 3.5. But regardless, we'll go with that, throw this into personality. And then I'm just going to, and then I think this should be fine. And then, and then now we'll move on to first message. So to make a first message, I'm going to copy these instructions here. And I'm going to now paste this into here. And then I'm going to say, can you make a first message for Rem? Cool. So we have a first message. We're going to copy it and then we're going to go into here and then paste it. And so it looks like it used um, some parentheses here. So I'm going to replace the parentheses with asterisk marks and that's so that it gives it a um, like a italics. And so this was a good first message. And then our scenario, we're going to do the same thing. I have instructions for creating a scenario. Can you now create a scenario for Rem? And then we're going to paste this in here. OK, and then so this was the final output of that um, prompt from up above. And then I had to specify once more. Can you turn the above response into the following final example template? as specified here and then it output this so there's one more thing that i need to do and that is um, unfortunately it replaced uh these characters like with uh rem and then user with um you so i need to explicitly tell it to convert that back so can you convert rem into character and then you into user so that we can use this for Yodayo. There we go. It'll now output this and then now we can copy this into Yodayo. So awesome. So now we've got a scenario and then last but not least, we need a dialogue. And so I'm going to copy this and then ask ChatGPT to generate a dialogue. And, and don't worry, I'm going to have everything in a document that'll lay out what you need to copy and paste if you want to use G, uh, ChatGPT 3.5 for this. So now can you create a mock dialogue following the format below? OK, and then we'll go ahead and slap this inside of example dialogue and then we'll replace these uh, parentheses with asterisks so that we get the correct um, italicies. And we have all of the areas that we needed to um, fill out complete. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at this again. We got our description, our persona, first message, scenario, and then example um, dialogue. So then we just need to select a category. We're going to do um, anime, gender, female, and then move to draft. Oh, and then we need an image. So first, luckily, we could generate an image in Yodayo if you go over to the uh, new artwork area. And we want to do, let's just um, look for, oh, sorry. We need to do a spells for Rem. 
looks like we got one we'll put this in here and then we'll do um let's just say on a white background and then we'll go ahead and generate with this okay and this will be good enough so we're going to now download this upload our rem and then of course you'd probably want to make sure it's a square portrait and not a uh not a portrait and then we'll go move to next so now we'll go into the visuals and we can do a couple of things here um, we can select um background so you can actually do a a transparent back a transparent character in the background here but we're just going to go ahead and do character with background so so let's go ahead and generate one more um image on here let's do rem in a flower we'll do rem and then we'll do flower field and then it looks like we want to do 3072 by 2048 so normal landscape upscaled by four so i changed the setting down there going to click generate and then sure we'll go with this one we'll enhance it by four and then this will bring us to what we need all right so there we go let's go ahead download and save this and then now we can set our image go ahead plop that in there and then um we should be good to go so let's go ahead just run through a couple of more things make sure everything is set to go um if you do have nsfw make sure you check this nsfw checkbox um I think rem is sfw so we'll leave that there and then we'll make it public if you want other people to see it so we'll just go ahead and do public on that one and then just take a look at all of this description persona first message scenario example dialogue so cool this looks good to go i'm gonna go ahead and publish it and now we can go ahead and talk to our character that we made so here we have rem um here's your description that you specified and then you can start chatting. So here is the um, first message that we made inside of ChatGPT. Um, as you can see, in the tranquil gardens of the Roswell Mansion. We've got all of this here. And then you've got like a REM first message, soften to herself. These flowers are looking lovely today. And then you can see that there's this last message and she's like, oh, hey, what is up? <laughs> and then we can, you know, respond in kind. I'm new to the mansion. Could you guide me around? And then awesome. And then there are a couple of things that you can do to, I guess, uh, you can kind of set tones or kind of implement um, small little, let's say like gestures that you're doing or whatever. Like if you want to role play a little bit better, you'd be like asterisk looks around nervously. This is a large mansion. So in this case, you'll see that it's italicized. And then you, your regular text is like what you're saying. It's not italicized. And then, yeah, so on and so forth. So if you don't like how um, the chat is responding back, um, you can always go into my characters, go over into here and then click on the pencil design to change the, you know, the persona, change the scenario or the example dialogue so so that is it if you want to create your own character in yodayo's tavern or you can check out other characters in here um, and give it a chat with them too there are some other cool things like uh, this rem and ram for example is a um like a double assistant so there's two of them in here so ram and rem and it'll respond with both of them which is kind of cool um but I, it does get a little bit lost, like it just started becoming RAM at the end of it. The biggest thing is that this is all free right now and you can talk to as many characters as you want, create as many characters as you want. And one thing that I should mention, if you don't want to go through it with ChatGPT, um, you can actually just do it all manually. And so there is a step-by-step -step guide written by Yodayo to help you get through that as well. So this one is much simpler if you just want to write it on your own. So uh, you've got your step one, you've got the describe character, and they give you an example right here with a description, a persona, and then a first message right here. And then as well, they give you how you can kind of do something like a scenario. So in this case, they use user is a fan of the character and then a example dialogue. So you could do all of that manually if you so chose. Um, this will be linked down below in the description as well. And then even more so, if you want to go to the how to Yodayo um, Notion site, 
there is a area where you can um, find how to do tavern a little bit more a little bit better which is the advanced character creator guide and you can click on here to find out all of the different formatting types and all of the code that you can do to make better chat assistance and so I'm not going to go over this, but this is what I reference to create the chat GPT prompts. And so this is another thing to look at as well. If you want to consider when making these chat bots. And if you do want some additional tips and tricks, Yodayo's official YouTube account has a video where it goes over the five advanced tips and tricks for creating a better tavern bot. So you can go ahead and check out this video. It's going to be linked down below in the description as well. So that's going to be it for today's showcase of Yodayo's tavern feature. So they're always working on improving it. They've got a roadmap that I'm going to pop up right here real quick that you could pause and take a look at, but they're always adding new features to it. So for the tavern, they're going to be doing some updates for it to where you can prompt better and all of those cool things. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you found anything useful, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member and I will see y'all later.